I'm gonna ask the bridesmaid for a, a short speech for the bride and the groom. Let's oh him first. Okay, you got paid bigger, so I'm gonna have to do it first. Oh, is that okay? Okay, I'm gonna give you time to check for your speech. Oh, that's pretty long. Okay, great. Sir. Andrea, sorry, take it away, sir. Okay. Hi, uh, this is actually my first time doing speech. <laughs> Here goes Nathan! Hi, for those who, who don't know me, I'm Andreas. I'm Michael's best friend. And, no, Michael's best man. There you go. It is an honor to stand here by his side on, on their special day. And, you know, honestly, when I signed up to be the best man, Michael didn't mention about the speech. He came in like a week ago, and he was like, Oh, by the way, you need to do a speech. So, after I start Googling and then 10 YouTube videos about it, here I am. So, I've known Michael for, our, for a while. And when we, when we met, we, I realized that we share the same common interest. We like to talk about watches for hours and hours. And I knew then that we are going to be best friends. The first few weeks, me and my and a few of our, fr our friends, we always go karaoke. And I mean, always, every single weekend. And you know, something memorable, memorable about it is that Michael always sing this one little song. And honestly, it ain't Coldplay. It ain't Maroon 5. It's Let It Go, Let It Go. Come on, you guys gotta know that. But, you know, there's nothing wrong liking Disney song. I love it. Kids love it. Okay, but seriously, Michael is like my bestest friend, and he really helped me during my downtime. He gave me books to read during my downtime about prayer. So I had something to be proud of. And honestly, Michael is like my own personal Yoda because everything he said is super wise. If I need something, I go to him and he'll give me something that will help me to go through things that I have to go through. And Siska, I'm really hoping to be better looking that, than you. I cut my hair a certain way to look super cool, but obviously I failed. Siska, you look beautiful as always. And I'm happy for the two of you. May both of you always find joy in every little thing that you encounter together, and I hope you will have a lifetime of happiness together. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, good evening. Uh, for those uh, who don't know me, uh, my name is Yoshiko. I'm Siska's maid of honor from Atlanta, Georgia. So I flew all the way just for her. Um, it's an honor for me today to witness their beautiful wedding sacrament earlier this morning and it has been a pleasure to be part of this special day. I knew this guy in the year of 2014. Um, on March 21st, 2014, she contacted me via Facebook Messenger um, asking about Atlanta um, because she will move to the hot Atlanta in April. And so since then, we became a friend. Um, and I met Mike in Atlanta as well during his visit to Atlanta to see his wonderful girlfriend. <laughs> and um, we hung out at Cafe Intermezzo at that time. You guys still remember? Uh, first impression to me that Mike is a nice guy. So when Siska told me that she was um, engaged, um, I was so happy for both of them. Uh, Siska, uh, best wishes with your new adventure buddy, your best friend, and your husband. Mike, you're a very lucky man. <laughs> uh, may your love be modern enough to survive the times and old-fashioned enough to survive forever. Uh, congratulations to you both and to the beautiful futures that lays ahead of you. So I'd like to propose a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Lin. So if everybody can raise their glass. So here's to love, laughter, and happily ever after. So cheers. Awesome. 
awesome, awesome. Where's my champagne? I'm talking about the bottle. Just kidding. All right, thank you, man. Give, let's give them a round of applause, everyone, for these two lovely persons in their life. Okay, now let's.